Hey guys, tip of the day, very vanilla, but very powerful. People ask me from all around the world, you know, a lot of the media, uh, what would be the number one problem that you see in teaching people? And it'd be more on the forehand and the non-dominant shoulder. Probably the biggest mistake, people don't turn this shoulder far enough. It doesn't turn far enough. And when that happens, the, ch the, tre the chest is gonna open up too soon and the head moves. So the coach is telling you a symptom. They're not really telling you the culprit, okay? When you can coil and create a separation angle between the upper and lower body, when you come back the other way, you're gonna be more connected. There's gonna be a coil and a recoil. There's gonna be a lot more continuity in what we call the angular momentum. So remember, turn the non-dominant shoulder as far as you can, your forehand's gonna be a lot better.